welcome back everyone. Glad you could join us. We're back in the shop tonight and uh, because our video of uh, making a simple walking stick was so well received, we thought, uh, why not make some more? And uh, we're gonna do pretty well the same thing, so uh, you can reference that video. I'll link it in the description. And uh, we're, what we're gonna be doing different is we're gonna be embellishing the top part of the handle with uh, some soapstone carvings. Uh, this is from the woods, has a collection of little soapstone carvings we picked up along the way at thrift stores and garage sales and that sort of thing. You can pick them up for a buck or two bucks a piece. And uh, we thought, hey, that kind of looks neat. Let's try that on the top of a walking stick. So uh, that's today's project. We're gonna make some more walking sticks. And uh, glad you could join us. And we hope that you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So these are the little soapstone carvings that Mrs. From the Woods has collected over the years. Uh, yeah, thrift stores and garage sales, pick them up for a dollar or two or a little bit more. And uh, each one is uh, unique because they're hand carved. And uh, each one is just slightly different from the next. And uh, easy to drill and easy to use and uh, kind of a unique way to embellish your uh, uh, walking stick. So I thought it would be kind of neat. So I tried it uh, with a broken one. Uh, with an eight millimeter dowel that's going to be drilled in the center approximately and uh, some two-part epoxy to adhere it to the end of the walking stick. So I've selected four candidates out of my collection of uh, treetops. They're all nice and dry, some more than others. Some are older. This one here I discovered had a little notch in there from a chainsaw so I'll uh, fill that with a piece of wood glue it and we'll use it for a different project. But the second one's a little bit too curved it's usable, uh, but uh, you like to have them as straight as possible. So we'll use the two ones on the outside right, and we're going to cut them to a standard length of about 57 inches, which seems to work for just about everybody. And uh, we'll just sand these down and get them prepped. So, uh, yeah, whoops. I cut one at 47 instead of 57. Anyway, we'll use that one for a different type of walking stick. So I resorted to the one that had the little notch in there and I put a piece of wood in there, glued it, so we'll have to wait for that to dry to carry on. But the next step will be to sand down these uh, walking sticks. So I think the little patch worked. Uh, we'll have to see how it all looks when it gets stained and finished, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Well, we've got the staff sanded down to uh, just about finished ready. Now it's time to uh, think about how we're going to attach the uh, soap carvings to the top of our staffs. And uh, we've chosen the two little owls for this project. And uh, let's get these attached. All right, so we've got a natural center of the stick. We don't have to figure that out. And it only has to be approximate for this first little bit. But for both sticks, we'll drill an eight millimeter hole on the center of the stick, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch deep. All right, so you want to get it as straight as possible, of course. And uh, we'll pick the center of the hole. And uh, Okay, we've got our holes drilled to accept our eight millimeter dowel. It's approximately in the center of the uh, top of the stick. Now we have to transfer that hole to the bottom of the soapstone carving. So as you can see, uh, the bottom of the soapstone carvings are not exactly uh, flat. One is worse than the other. So we're going to have to flatten that. You can just do that on a flat surface with sandpaper. I'm just going to use my edge sander and uh, we'll get a little bit more of a flatter bottom on on the soapstones carving to begin. Okay, well, the bottom of the soapstone carving is flat and the top of our 
staff is flat. We've got an eight millimeter hole drilled in the top. Now we've got to figure out how to get it to uh, transfer to the soapstone carving. So the easiest way is a dowel center, of course. Now this one just happens to fit almost perfect on here. And uh, because we're flat, we'll just sand this a little bit so there's no sharp edges on the bottom of the soapstone. The soapstone is actually very soft, so it can be sanded. So I guess we'll try and get an 8 mil dowel center and uh, transfer the uh, mark. Okay, we've got our dowel center in there. We've got our flattened soapstone carving. We're going to approximate where it's got to go on there, trying to get it as centered as possible. And then we're just going to give it a good push. And there should be a little mark. I don't know if that's going to come up at all. Yeah, a little bit there. So right there is a little bit of a mark where we're going to drill our eight millimeter dowel hole. And then the two should mate pretty reasonably. All right, so I've highlighted the hole a little bit with a black felt marker. We're going to get the center of the drill bit in there. I'm just using a brad point, and uh, the soapstone is pretty soft. Okay. All right. So we've got our soapstone and our handle drilled. We'll put an 8 mil dowel in and then we'll uh, put the two together and we'll find the best match possible. So not too bad. I didn't get it too far off. You can move it around a little bit. So as you can see, the soapstone carving is just slightly smaller than the top of the uh, branch. So we'll sand it a little bit. What I'll do is I'll make a pencil mark and then we'll just kind of sand it around the edge over to that point just to give it a little bit more of a finished look on the top here. The other one was really close to the edge. I'm just gonna round over the entire edge. But for instance, right here, I'm gonna kind of taper that a little bit, try and get it a little bit closer to the size of the uh, soapstone carving. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of trace where I think it's gotta be rounded over a tape or two. For the most part, it fits okay. We'll just round this edge over but we'll sand a little bit of this edge off here to uh, take this off just so it matches the soapstone carving a little bit more. All right, so I've kind of uh, sanded, tapered this down a little bit here to uh, match the soapstone carving a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna round over the top edge and we should be ready for final sanding. Okay, well, we've got the soapstone carvings fit it to the tops of the walking sticks and now I'm going to do a final sand and finish them and put the wrap and the grip on. I'm not going to show all that in this video. You can see it in uh, another video we made called Making a Simple Walking Stick. So we'll see you at the end when we attach the soapstone carvings to the finished walking stick. Okay, well, no project is complete without a maker's mark on there, and I've uh, been working on this for a little bit, so it's actually my initials, uh, M and W, and the nice thing about that is if you turn it upside down, it says M and W. So if you don't have one, maybe a good idea at any hobby store, hardware store, you can get these uh, really basic wood burning kits, and uh, they come in handy for a bunch of things, but especially if you want to... Uh, mess around with a bit of pyrography and make your own maker's mark on such things as wood which I've done 
and a neat little tool to have around the shop. All right, while well we've got our sticks uh, just about ready for the soapstone carvings, got a paracord uh, handle grip on there with the half hitches and the clove hitches, which again is referenced in our other video, uh, making a simple walking stick. Got our maker's mark on there. And uh, yeah, well, let's put uh, the soapstone carvings on. I'm going to be using a JB Weld Clear Weld two-part epoxy to attach the soapstone carvings to the top of the walking stick. So uh, that should be a good strong bond for outdoor and for all of our walking uh, adventures. Okay, well we've got uh, the soapstone carvings glued to the top of the staffs. Now you don't want to use too much epoxy or else it squeezes out and makes a mess. So you got to be a little bit careful that way. But I think uh, we've got them set where we wanted and I think they look great. All right, well, they're done. And I think the colors work really well together. Soapstone carvings are glued to the top of the walking stick. Now, it doesn't photograph exactly really nice, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. All right, well, we're finished the uh, two extra walking sticks with the soapstone carvings, and I think they turned out quite well. I was a little bit worried about the gray color, but with the black handle and the black soapstone, I think they turned out just great. So uh, we had a lot of fun making them. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, we would love it if you would subscribe, like, and share, and join us again for another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.